Hey y'all, what's going on? It's Amy again with Bargain Mama, and today I have two pretty easy, the first one is super simple, and the second one takes a little bit more time, but still super simple, DIYs that you can do either for stocking stuffers, for craft fairs, or just in general for your family for a game night or whatever you want. So the first one I have is a kid's tic-tac-toe. Super, super simple. It took me two seconds. I don't even believe I had to pause the video to make this one, but let me show you what I made here. So here is what I made. And it, this is the Dollar Tree burlap sack. I used some puffy paint on the back. You could use a marker, you could use puffy paint, you could use whatever you want. And then I have my little erasers. And these are the little humans, so they are the X's. And these are the little ornaments, so they are O's. And they are just going to go right into my little sack and bam, here is my little tic-tac-toe set. How cute is that? So that's the first thing that I made. Again, it is super simple. You could put this at your craft fair. It took me less than $2 to make. I mean, way less than $2 to make. But how cute and simple is this just to have setting on your little craft table? You could have it out and put the little pieces on here already. Whatever you want. Three of these do come in a sack for the Dollar Tree for a dollar. So yes, that's what I did here. And anyways, so that DIY, stay tuned, which you, if you, you know, you probably don't need it, but so that's the first one. The second one is one of my favorites. I've never done this. Well, I've never done any of these before, but that one was super simple. This one I've never done either. And we for sure do not need it in Arizona, but this is my DIY snow stick. So I did a couple different variations for you. And so let's get started. So I'm going to show you, let me kind of walk you through how I did this. I did this tutorial a little bit different because somebody said you talk way too much. And then some people were like, we just need like the basic concept. We don't want you to walk through everything. So please leave comments below and tell me which one that you prefer. If you prefer me to have showed you every single detail or if this was how you liked it. So how I started out was I showed you guys, I just used a paint stick. The paint sticks I did not get from the Dollar Tree. I got them three for, I believe they were 97 cents at Walmart. I got them a while ago. But so I started out with just a brown paint stick that I painted and then I started drawing the numbers on, which like I always do, I messed up and where my numbers were. So again, you will always mess up. And then I showed you my other one at the end that I totally messed up on with put, um, painting Mod Podge over the top of it. Should not have done that. I will end up spraying them. But so that's how we started out, just putting numbers using a ruler. Again, the DIY is in there, but these are my little fellas. So here is one, there are three different kinds. So here's this one. Again, at the end, I told you how I made every single one of them. So here is that one that's so cute, let it snow. <laughs> so cute, we do not need these here in Arizona, let me tell you. Here is this one utilizing the picks from the Dollar Tree, did nothing else to it. So there is my little pick and I just added some buttons, which I'm not sure if I like or not. And then here is the rest of mine. Again, at the end, I told you how I put my little gentleman on here. So. Let me, let me show you this other one and then I'll show you kind of how this video, because this video is definitely going different than some of my other videos. And then here's the Grinch. I love him, I love him. And I did opt to draw his face on, even though I suck at it because a lot of people don't have a Cricut. And so some, and sometimes I don't like to pull my Cricut out for something little. I mean, I love my Cricut, but it takes a lot sometimes to pull it out for one little thing. So I just didn't pull it out. So anyways, here is this little guy with so two picks for a dollar, right? I just took his little hat off the other one and put him on here. Used some feathers from the 99 cent store for that. Drew him a little heart, I did my best on his little face and then did this. So I am so excited. These are by far my favorites thing I think I've done in a long time. So anyways, how this video is going to go. The first DIY is just my tic-tac-toe. That one went very well, very easy. 
Then my DIY goes into how, so it goes into just me painting this and then starting the numbers. And then at that point, it's kind of like the general part is over. Once you have the numbers on your stick, go from there, do whatever you want. So I didn't show you actually how I decorated these. I tell you at the end verbally how I did it, but I don't go through it because I just don't want my videos to be like an hour long on the same, the same DIY, just different concepts of it. So anyways, I showed you that I painted it and then I did, showed you how I did the numbers, which I literally just used a ruler. And then I jumped right into, so actually let me show you. This is what it looks like not painted, I mean not decorated. So I just did, painted this and then I did the numbers. And so that's like, so it goes from the plain wood to this little fella, to where I started my numbers, to this fella, to decorated however you want. Super simple, love them, love them. The hardest part is how am I going to decorate it, really. So anyways, Again, that's how I did this DIY, so I do not walk through how I did every single one of those. They are done differently, but at the end, I do tell you, because this one is pretty simple, but I didn't walk through it, so I just wanted to kind of, like I said, verbally tell you how I did each one. Anyways, at the end, like I've said a million times. Anyways, let me know how what you think of this DIY video. Again, I'm trying to just kind of make everyone happy, I guess. People say I talk too much, which we're seven minutes in, and I've talked a lot. But then people are like, no, we just want the main idea, so don't do it step by step. So please let me know if this video helped you at all. If you were like, well, you didn't really show us how to do it, because um, some people are just like hearing learners. Some people are visual learners. So anyways, let me know what you thought of this video. This is definitely one of my favorite DIYs I've ever done. So please stay tuned for these two DIYs. And like I said, you could definitely put them in stockings. You could put them at your craft fair. You could do whatever you wanted and you can decorate them however you want. They're so versatile. So I hope that you're having a great day. Stay tuned for the DIY. Bye guys. Okay, so this one is so super simple. These are the little burlap sacks from the Dollar Tree. There we go. You could choose to use whatever you want. You could even use a fabric marker or a Sharpie on this. Anything will work. I'm going to attempt to use puffy paints. It may or may not work. We are about to find out. So I'm just going to use this craft stick from the Dollar Tree to make sure that my line is straight. Um, I don't make straight lines, but you could use whatever you want or you could use nothing. So I am just literally going to make a line there. And then just <laughs> definitely an easier way, guys. So let's finish these lines. You could definitely even just use like a pencil or something and draw your line first and then come back in and okay I don't want it to get on my thing so but you could draw you could definitely use a pencil and do this too and then come back in and draw your line so there we go so here's this line So I'm left-handed, so this is a little bit more difficult for me, which I should have put the stick on the inside, but I didn't, so we're going to go with it. So here we go. There's that. Now we're just going to go across, and we're going to hope that our line is straight because we don't want to mess it up. Let's see, we'll just go right here. And just so you know, also these burlap bags have their own lines. So it just dawned on me I didn't have to use that. Okay, I'm getting my hair in it. So then we're just going to go like right here. And we'll follow this line across. Okay. There it is. I mean, that's how simple it is. So now... 
I wish I had the smaller ones, but I don't. But these are just the little bags from the Dollar Tree. So let me move this out of the way. So we'll let that dry. And now I'm just going to put an X on here. That's done. And an O on here. Okay. And that is how simple this one is. So I got some erasers and they're Christmas erasers and you can kind of do it however you want to do it. So for me, I was thinking like I wanted to do like all the little humans kind of things as like the X's or the O's and then I wanted to do so there's 12 in here and we need five each because there's nine there's nine rows and you can't split nine and a half and if you only did eight well then the last person would lose out so we're just gonna do um, 10 so these are all things that do not like are not alive right so obviously we have to put Santa in there because yeah so anyways, now, while this is trying to drive, we're just going to put these five in our X bag. And you could use a different colored bag. You could, um, like, tie it up with some cute little ribbon, do whatever you want. So there's the five in there. And then obviously we have to wait for it to dry. And then we are just gonna place all them in here and we have our tic-tac-toe game on the back of here for our stockings. So that one is super simple. Let's move on to the next one. Our next super, super simple stocking craft is just with a paint stick. So the first thing that we, and we can do so many different things with these. So, oh no. Oh, my something is wrong with my paintbrush. There we go. Hopefully it'll still work. Anyway, so we're just gonna paint this paint stick white. So when I painted my other ones, um, every one of them is different, but I believe that they needed about two to three coats, depending. So we will see how many the white requires. And then we are going to make two different kind of, I guess, stocking stuffers out of them. So once we get to that point, I'll show you what we're going to do. So I'm just going to finish painting this because all I'm doing is painting and I'm not doing anything special to it. So I'm just going to paint this side, let it dry, give it two or three coats, and then I will paint this side and let it dry. And then I will be back and we will do the next step. Okay, so we have it painted and we are ready to go. So the next thing we're going to do, so it's just painted white. The next thing that we are going to do is we are going, oh, so I used a pen to make my number. So I put a ruler on here and then made sure that it was straight. And then for me, I did every quarter inch because that's not. Okay, so for me, I did every quarter inch because that's just... That's how I want my snow to be measured, but you could go every half inch, every inch. You could do however you wanted on yours. So here again, I am just making little ticks. And then on the actual inches, I am making a larger tick. So again, we're just going to make again i'm doing quarter inches you could do one inches you could do half inches you could do whatever you want you could make every single little line but for me again i chose to do every inch 
I'm sorry, every quarter inch. So we're just going to do this. And then, here we go. So once we're done, I'll show you just a little bit of how I did it. And then you can just decorate it how you want it. So that's the fun part is you can literally do like whatever you want with it. So let's see. There we go. Okay. So here's all my little ticks, right? Somewhere I have a lid. Here we go. So I have all my little ticks. Again, it's yellow, so I don't know how well you can see it. But anyways, it's every quarter inch. So then, <clears throat> excuse me, I am taking this, any kind of marker. This is actually one that I did get from the Dollar Tree. It says hand lettering, and this one is the chisel. And I am just going to go over. Actually, I'm sorry. So with the black ones, I want to use a thicker marker. So this is just, I... I think I got it from the Dollar Tree. I honestly don't know. So that's one. And then this is a half an inch. So I am just now taking my marker and going over, making the, the inch lines longer and then the half an inch is just kind of sticking out and a little bit more bold. So there's that. There we go. So I'm trying to hurry because obviously, so I'll just do that part. So then you can see that I'm making my little ticks down and now I am going to use my chisel point. And for me, again, you don't have to do this. I'm going to come back through and make my little quarter marks. There we go. And so there's that. So then I'm going to start oh, my hand. So we can definitely take a, we can wash this off later. So now I'm just going to write 12 up here, 11. So now obviously we are just going to, wait. So because I talk too much. But this is, the good thing about this is it's so easy to fix. I can just come back through with some white paint and fix that one. So this one right here is going to be the 10. And then, so then I'll have to fix them from then on out. But that is like the concept of it, 12, 11, 10, that'll be nine, eight, seven. So that's the concept of like our ruler. And then that's, once that part is done, like your ruler is totally complete. And then you just do the decorations that you want. So now I'm going to bring you up to me. Hey guys. So hopefully, yeah, you're still there. So now I want to show you the couple that I made because a lot of people say you do too much talking, you should go faster. So again, we have the main concept down. We're just going to write numbers for the rulers, right? So that's it. So then these are the couple of paint sticks that I made. Again, I showed you these in the beginning. I think that they are so cute. But in the beginning, I didn't tell you how I did these ones. So let me see. I have, let me, hold on. Uh, I, yes, I have them right here. One second. So, sorry guys. Okay. So these. I used the Dollar Tree picks from the Crafter Square, and this was a snowman. So I took one off of the snowman stick, and so that's him on the top. So what I did is I just nicely cut the bottom here. I cut along the bottom a nice little slit so that I could just put it up and over the top of my stick. So that's how I decorated this one. Again, I did not do anything to it except for cut a slice in the middle of him. I just, like I said, cut right here along the seam that they already have for you. I left the stuffing and everything in there, slid his little head up over the top of the stick, sucked some hot glue right here, stuck some hot glue right here, 
put some buttons on here and here is my snowman snow stick. I am in love with this little guy. I think he's so cute. So I did nothing, like I said, to the little snowman guy. So here is one of them. So in love with him. And so then the other one I did, so remember, I am not the best artist, but this is just the stick. And I used my paint pen, which you could use the metallic markers or anything, and just made a bunch of little snow dots. And let me put it closer so you can see how I did my little marks for the roller. But, and then at the top, I just wrote out, let it snow. And then I made a little snowman. Ah, I'm not the best artist, but so this is just, let me just, so here is this little snow stick. And the back is just plain like this. You could do whatever you wanted to it. But so there's that one. How cute are these like Christmas morning to be sticking out of their stockings with like a little tag on it with their name on it or something so they know whose stocking is theirs. So cute. So then our third one is a Grinch one. I am in love with my Grinch one. And so again, here is how we did the numbers. And here is my little Grinch. So first of all, let's get up close. I did it by hand and oh my gosh. So I did it by hand because a lot of people do not have a Cricut. So I thought, well, I know that I cannot paint or draw, so why not show everyone, you know, that I can't. So anyways, that's what I did right here. With the neck, so I had these from the 99 cent store a long time and I was like what in the world am I gonna do with these so this is literally a feather that I wrapped around and so it still has like the hard stock part of it and I just kind of fluffed it out after I glued it I drew this little heart here myself and then you wonder why this little guy's missing his hat because I just cut his little hat off and put it on top of my Grinch and then glued the top part right there yes so now I can use this for something else. So again, these two little fellas are kind of the same. And so how cute are they? Yes, I am so in love. So then I always mess up. So I'd like to show you how I messed up. So, oh, okay. So I made this little guy, okay? And I just had some little beads from Dollar Tree from a long time ago. And I made him little eyebrows. I made him a little nose. And then right here is the part, is just part of the plaid hat from the Dollar Tree that I cut off. And then one of their bells from there and then one of their pom-poms, right? Then I started to paint Mod Podge over it to seal it. You guys can see, that did not work. So this is the only one I did that too. So now I do have spray Mod Podge that I'm going to use to seal it. So that is exactly what I suggest. And I'm sure it's because of the kind of markers I used, but so it's up to you um, if you want to try to mod, like paint Mod Podge it on. But again, this, if you see the numbers, is what happened when I painted my Mod Podge on. And so I will have to redo this one and I'll just repaint it brown and then go over it again. So I am just going to spray these ones with a spray Mod Podge to seal it. So, and then the back of him just looks like that. I just used, you could use anything you wanted, but for the little antenna things, I thought it was so cute. I just, so this was literally the string that hung this on as an ornament. So I just took them off and used them as my little ears. I don't know. I just thought they were cute and different than just using um, little fuzzy wire things in the middle. I don't know. Anyways, so that's what I did here. But again, I wanted to show you my mistake on that one. So yes, these are my little paint sticks. I did not get the paint sticks from the Dollar Tree, but everything else is from the Dollar Tree. So I hope that you all have tried these or are going to try these. And please let me know what you made. And then again, at the beginning, I'm going to show you these, but I'm not going to 100% show you how I did it. So that's just how I did the different variations of my paint sticks. Please tell me what worked for you, what didn't work for you. I hope that you're having an amazing day. Thank you so much for watching my DIY tutorial. Please tell me underneath things I can do like, hey, I would have rather you walk me all the way through the steps of making this little guy 
or nope, it was great because we, you talk too much and we don't need to see all that. So anyways, have a great day guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye.